In this video, I want to go over the Josephus survivor problem on Code Wars. And what it states is, in this problem, you have to correctly return who is the survivor or the last remaining element of a Josephus permutation. Basically, you have to assume that there are n people put into a circle and that they are eliminated in steps of k. So they give us an example, and here's our Josephus function with the input values of 7 and 3. 7 indicates that there are 7 people in a circle, and 3 indicates that 1 every 3 is going to be eliminated. So what they did is we have seven people in the circle. They started out by creating a list of seven people, one to seven, with every integer representing a particular person. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to remove every third person. So one, two, three, we're going to remove three. And they stated that here. And then one, two, three, we're going to remove six. And so on and so forth until one uh, item remains, which is four. And that's the one we're going to return. So let's get into solving this problem the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list just like they did down here so you see this particular input value of 7 uh, they create a list of 1 to 7 we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna do it using list comprehension so I'm gonna call it people and we're just going to set equal to I for I in range of 1 to n plus 1 next we're gonna create an index variable and this index variable is going to be the particular uh, position in our people list that we remove and if you remember uh, the second input uh, the second input is our skip this skip is how many positions we skip before we remove a particular person so we're going to use a skip variable to create our index so we're going to say index is equal to skip modulus uh, length of people okay now the reason we did modulus length of people is because if you look down here say for example this particular test case we have a circle of 11 people and our skip variable is 19 we can't skip 11 19 people in a circle of 11 so what we have to do is we have to loop back around to the beginning once our we reach the 11th person, we re, uh, loop back around to the beginning to person number one, and then we re, uh, move eight positions. And we can do this with the modulus operator like we did here. So what the modulus operator does is it returns the remainder. So say we had three people in a circle and our skip variable was 10. 10 modulus three would equal one because three goes into 10 three times with one remaining. So moving one position in our circle is the same as moving 10 and looping around three times so that's why we did that also if we didn't do this and they gave us say a circle of 11 people and our skip variable is 19 and we didn't uh, use this modulus operator it would throw an error so that's why we did that next we're going to create a while loop and all we're going to say is while the length of people is greater than 1 so this while loop is going to continuously run until our list of people is only, there's only one remaining. And the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the particular person at the position that we found here. So what we're going to say is people.pop index. And what this pop function does, if you didn't already know, is it removes the particular index that we specify here so we found the index that we need to remove and we're using the pop function to do so to remove it and the next thing we need to do is we need to update our index variable so look over here for so for example say we have a list of seven people and our uh, skip variable is three say we move three positions one two three we remove three we don't want to continuously remove this position okay we re we move to our third position we remove that um, that integer and then we need to update it and move three more positions from this position so one two three and then we'll remove six and that's how that works so what we need to do is update it by saying index is equal to index plus skip um, and we need to skip however many people are in this skip variable so we add it to our index just like we did here However, if the sum ends up being greater than the length of people, we can loop back around to the beginning using the modulus operator again. 
So we're just going to say modulus length of people. Yeah, that works just like that. However, also, um, this pop variable, um, we need to decrement the skip variable by one because the pop function automatically skips the guy that we removed. So up here, we're just going to say um, skip minus equals one because this pop function will not count the particular item that we just removed. So yeah, that's what we need to do. So now from here, we just return people of zero because if after we break out of our while loop, there will only be uh, one element in this uh, people list. So we're just going to say return people of zero or the first position in our person list. So let's test this out and see if it works. Task, or pass the five tests, let's attempt it. Okay, 50 pass, zero failed, and yeah, that worked out. So um, yeah, that's uh, how you solve the Josephus survivor problem on Code Wars. And if it was helpful or you found it helpful, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.